everybody, it's Bruce with Nature Calls, and I am out to do the setup and review of the Dutchware Chameleon that I was fortunate enough to get in on the Kickstarter campaign. Now, Dutch is a huge supporter of the hammock industry, and way back when he did the AT and he hammocked the whole AT and he got into building his own gear and he saw that there was this movement to make your own gear more a few years ago so he came out with some really cool little items that would help the <coughs> do-it-yourselfers uh, build really cool gear. What's really cool about Dutch is I've, I've seen his videos and I've seen his gear and I've seen how he talks about things and the guy never talks bad about anything and completely supports almost any hammock that's out there he never says anything bad about anything and he's always helpful so he got this idea in his head that he wanted to build the perfect hammock and he built a couple other hammocks that were really pretty pretty interesting and probably fantastic hammocks but then he decided i'm going to make in dutch's mind what is the perfect hammock and he came out with the dutchware chameleon and so this is the version that i got and the first part of it are the the tree straps and I chose to have the the Dyneema polypropylene straps that he developed as tree huggers and I think they're about 15 feet long which is great for where I live as you can see I got lots of big trees around me but I did pick a couple of normal sized trees it does provide really nice uh, 12 Newton meter uh, carabiners and then he also provides a new invention that he came out with. It's called the beetle buckle. And I'll show you a lot closer how this works, but it's how you attach your Amsteel continuous loops. And it also has the ability to put in spreader bars. Here's the buckle system. And there's a little hole that you put the spreader bar in. There's the two little hooks that you put your Amsteel continuous loop in from the hammock. Now spreader bars, so you have two trees, you have two hammocks. And how do you hang two hammocks? Well, what I've done in the past is either three trees or you take a stick to separate everything out. But having a spreader bar makes it a much cleaner way to do it. So I'm just going to reach up a little overhead height. That's how I do it, but uh, these are fantastic. Just put that carabiner on, latch it down to the tree. I know there's all kinds of you know, put it way over to the side, but this is really strong stuff. This webbing and that carabiner, so I don't think there'll be a big concern. To adjust it, you just kind of rotate that up. Pull that on through. And to lock it, you put the two together and you bring it down like that. So now, now I'll take the Amsteel continuous loop and just put it over the little anchor just like that. Now he supplies, supplies the uh, chameleon in this double-ended stuff sack, bishop bag or whatever you want to call it. Yes, now I'm just going to open up this side of the stuff sack, grab onto that and then just kind of slowly pull it on out. And do the same hook up on this side. And we'll just tighten it on up. Tighten this side up. With the webbing, just do the uh, the old thumb forefinger. With the webbing, you just do the thumb forefinger, get that 30 degree angle. Uh, you can lower it down to where it makes sense. Test, real solid, super solid. Do a little sit test. Now this has a fixed ridge line in it. You want this pretty taut. You want to be able to flex a little bit but it does have a fixed ridge line, so your sag is always going to be set for you. Nice, solid, fantastic. Let's give it a test lay. Mm. 
Wow, this is super solid. Just a solid, solid hammock. Just feels fantastic. Wow, that's really great. I don't know if you've ever watched my videos, you know I make gear. And you know, I can tell when something's really built really nice. Um, just looking at all the stitching and the way it's put, it just feels solid. The lay just feels really, really nice. Now this is just a gathered in hammock. It's a jungle hammock because it has in it the way to attach a, a bug net directly to it, but it's not an asymmetrical hammock like the Hennessy. Uh, it's just a gathered in hammock. And the hammock that I chose is a Hexon one ounce. He does have quite a few other uh, material weights. So if you're a heavier guy or you want it thicker, I'm pretty sure he's got like a, a double layer as well. Uh, this is just the lightest version and done in the camo, obviously. What's really nice is that the camo print is pretty much the same on both sides. And that's hard to find camo print like that. So back to it not being asymmetrical. He does have some bungee tie outs does give it that asymmetrical look. Now this would be, say, where my head would be and the other asymmetrical side would be where my feet would be. But it's not a Hennessy, but this does come into play. And this is kind of what the best part of the chameleon is, its ability to switch sides. So say I wanted to have my head not on this side, but my head on the other side or vice versa, or if I got somewhere and just the way the trees were hanging, I wanted my head at that end and this end. I could change things around. Let's show, go over how that all works. So to maybe try and help explain what is asymmetrical, this is the winter cover that came with my Kickstarter. And if you can see how it is shaped, it's shaped asymmetrical. So now this, when I put it on, needs to be in concert with how I want to lay in the hammock, and the bug net's the same way. But if I was wanting to lay a different way, my head on the other side, I would just flip it like that. So then we get a different, a different lay on it. And what's really amazing is the way that Dutch had to do all of his zippers. And I'll show you that here in a sec. So the way that Dutch had to do his zippers it needed to be able to zip from either end, it needed to be zipped whatever way, upside down or right side up, whatever way it went. And then the zippers, you can have them from any direction when you're inside or outside the hammock. They're pretty incredible zippers. So let's get this hooked up and see how it looks. Here down this end, you can see the zipper. I'll have to put that inside there and it has toggles on either side. So up inside here is the little end piece. I can pull it out here a little bit. So right there, that's that zipper on that side. Zip it down and then go over the ridge line and I'll attach it to the other side. So up here on this end, he's added this little cowling triangle of bug net, because there is a hole up here at the very top. When you get in and this all stretches out, um, that'll all close off real nice. Let's get in with the winter cover on. It's easy to reach. Bring that on down. So here's the winter cover. So up here by my face, there's this mosquito netting. So of course you can see out. I can see out just great uh, to that side. Can't see out anywhere else. But as I breathe through the night, my moisture from my breath can escape through that. Plus this fabric, it's a super light denier and it is breathable. I'm sure it has a DWR on it, but it is breathable. But I can go out of either side with these zippers. Fantastic. All right, so now we have the 
Now we have the bug net on. So same thing, a real nice bug net. Now this is nice. There again, you have to, uh, you know, when you put the bug net on, you have to put it on asymmetrically whatever way you're going. Oh, so now, oh, this is so beautiful. Fantastic. Now really this, these uh, little bungee cord asymmetric pullouts, I don't quite understand what they're for because this is not an asymmetric uh, hammock. But I mean, it makes them look cool when you're not in it, but I would, wouldn't be using it. Um, but these little D-rings that he has all the way around or around the outside, uh, he has extra little bags or whatever that you can you can put on it. He has on the insides you can put internal bags. And out here, these have these little pack hooks for like bungee cord on the outside of a pack. And those are for uh, your under quilt. And he also has a little peak shelf that you can get. I didn't get any of those. I probably will though. But he has these types of rings on the inside and outside all around the hammock. I'm putting on an under quilt just, just like any other hammock that I have. Um, I just clip them on to the, the little loops there and then bring it around. Here's where having these little pullouts, not a big effort, but quilt. So like right here, they kind of start getting in the way of these. So to me, they're, they're kind of not, they're not really that useful to begin with. Um, they definitely would be a problem with the under quilt. But I do love these little clips that they have on them little backpack clips and I really would want to use that one there. I'll double clip over here. I don't know I don't have a, a three-quarter length. Um, I don't have a three-quarter length under quilt so I don't know how it would react with that. Right here we have these neat little clips to hook on the under quilt. And that's going to save me a lot of frustration. I know um, I've tried all kinds of things. I think that's really going to help me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tie outs. But once you're in, it doesn't really matter because your feet push, push it out. But at this point, uh, if you want to pull your, your under quilt up and around, like I like to do, I like to have it around my feet and right up here around my shoulder, then it just works fantastic. Really love these clips. All right, it's perfect height. Be able to have a little breakfast from the hammock. This is the Cascade Wild little table, by the way. Real cool, do a review on that. But, uh, Final thoughts, extremely well constructed, love the materials, the sewing is just perfect, just perfect, uh, just feels right, I don't feel anything wrong with this hammock at all. Uh, this, this hammock is fantastic, I'll definitely keep this in the quiver, I'll probably get some of the accessories for it, but it is fantastic. There you go. So I'm I'm about 220 and triggers about 80 and uh, everything's feeling perfect. Fantastic. Right, trigger. Okay. Well, I will see you on the trail. Bye now.